If you're enjoying our videos, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, there are links to our website and Patreon below, where you can find exclusive videos, services such as being typed by us, and also merch. You know you're not an ENTP if you don't speak sarcasm fluently and eloquently. Humour is a first language for ENTPs. They are wordsmiths. And what greater way to demonstrate linguistic prowess than to send shockwaves of laughter through a person's body? Jokes have many functions, some of which are no doubt evolutionary in nature. They can cause relief from awkwardness, or even act as an antidote for sadness. Sometimes they can be used to make a point, to elucidate some great truth about life. They can be a vehicle for a message or a political statement. Or, jokes can just be for the sheer hell of it. ENTPs are in the latter category. They are purists of humour, of absurdity, of the ironic and the sarcastic. They like to poke fun at the contradictions of humanity, often making deep points. But for ENTPs, ultimately, a joke is a self-justifying entity. You know you're not an ENTP if you regularly resist the urge to get sucked into a debate or argument, showing a saintly level of restraint. The tongue of an ENTP remains perpetually unbitten. I often hear them say, I know I shouldn't have, but I got into this debate with this person. And of course, chaos ensued. I've said this in the past about ENTPs, that I see them as mental performers in every sense. And there are a few arenas for ENTPs to demonstrate their intellectual acrobatics. Brainstorming or ideation, creative problem solving, and discussion or debate. So the opportunity to perform and engage in these activities is going to be kind of irresistible to them. It's like throwing a football into a crowd of people. It's impossible to resist the urge to start kicking it around. I should say that in the UK, a football is something you use with your feet and not your hands. You know you're not an ENTP if you believe your point of view is 100% correct. Although they can definitely come across as confident in their views, having extroverted intuition as their top function means they are kind of cursed to see every side of the same issue, even seeing the points that naturally oppose their own. In fact, kind of as a result of that, it can be difficult for ENTPs to come to a settled conclusion on things. They love new possibilities, and in some ways prefer to ask interesting questions than to spend time mining for all the potential answers. No other type deals with uncertainty, ambiguity, paradoxes, shades of grey, like an ENTP. They almost take an odd delight in these things because the moment a final answer is found, in a sense, the fun is over, the possibilities have stopped. You know you're not an ENTP if you don't have ADH... Oh, cool. Huh. Wow. Okay, I'll finish this video some other time.